I took a wild extrapolation and said, we're going to continue doubling every year. We're going to go from about 60 elements now to 60,000 in 10 years. Uh, I was just trying to get across the point that this was the direction semiconductors were going, and it was going to give a tremendous cost advantage, which wasn't true at the time. The early integrated circuits cost quite a bit more than the pieces to assemble the similar circuits out of individual components. But one could see the trend was going in the direction that this was going to be the cheaper way eventually. My real objective was to get the idea across, we have a technology that's going to make electronics cheap. But uh, I didn't expect this binary order of magnitude increase, the thousandfold increase in complexity to be very accurate. I just thought it was a general trend we were going to have. But in fact, it was far more accurate than I could have anticipated. It was uh, one of these articles that appeared in one of the trade magazines. You know, I wrote it as a technical paper, and one of my colleagues, I believe it was Carver Mead, a professor at Caltech, dubbed this Moore's Law, a name that is stuck beyond anything that I think could have been anticipated. It's been extended to a variety of other fields where I never would have imagined, but where things are moving exponentially or near exponentially. It has really got a lot more legs than that original paper ever had right to deserve. It's been a phenomenal technology, and it still has a ways to go.